next video we are going to learn how to create a class and object in java for this go to eclipse source new create a class i am going to create an employee class emp employee just remove the package we don't need that for now finish now let's create a class first let's see what is a class class is nothing but collection of instance variable instance variable and methods now let's create instance variable i'm going to use first access specifier private data type int and then variable name emp id and the second private string name third private string sorry double salary these three are instance variable now let's allocate memory now let's create the main method let me click main now let's create object objects normally like let me write object are created using new keyword now let's write new n e w it's a keyword then class name employee and open close bracket semicolon here new is a keyword employee is class name as you can see employee and open close bracket is a constructor we are going to learn about them later objects are used or are responsible for giving memory memory m e m o r y memory to our variable which we have given like instance variable now let's see what happens inside our ram here you can see i have copied the code here let's focus on new employee i'm going to take a block here this this particular block will represent an heap area let me write just the name of this area that is heap area heap area allocates memory to all your objects in java now let me focus here what happens here an object inside the heap area that object is created is just a representation just to study and memory is allocated let me just change its color not black yes let's keep this now i'm going to take a text area this area for me is the object for example it's just an example employee and then constructor let me just no. okay now our object is created this particular object is responsible for allocating memory block to instance variable so now let me just give memory to a variable first variable just now i'm going to copy is 3 as i am having three variables or instance variable okay now let me just write the name of our variable or text that will be emp id then 
let me just write the name this is my emp id second will be the name and name name and the third salary block these are all your instance variable now when these variables are created default value is given 0 for int and null for name string value and salary it's a double to 0, 0.0 so this is the representation of your memory what happens inside your ram when object is created now let's go to our code and just print give a name for printing we have to give a reference variable here for calling the here e is the instance variable and we need a data type for e that will be a user defined data type like class name here you can see I, we have created a complete object with its reference variable I am going to copy this and just show you and paste here for showing you what happens inside the heap area how we can access EMP ID and instance variable as I have not created any method in this first lecture ok now let me select a text give it name E and then an arrow which is pointing to an object remember it is pointing to, an, to the object not the instance variable we are going to use E for getting the instance variable Now let's go back to our code. And let's simply print the variables or fields. I'm just going to print EMP ID and the name only. Name. Now let's run this. As I've told you, here 0 would be printed as I've not given any value, and here null will be the output. Let's just check. I've shown here zero and null. Right click and run as Java application. Let's save this. Okay, and then here you can see the output zero and null. So here, this is object. How we create an object. 